Hey, welcome back to Teach Me Money Methods. In this video, I'm gonna be going over a new software that I just picked up today. It's called Sail Samurai, and I don't believe too many people know about it, but it's from the creators of Book Bolt, and if you're an Amazon KDP publisher, you probably know about Book Bolt. It's a, a good tool that has a large suite of different types of tools for keyword research, niche research, uh, cover designs, uh, interior designs, all that kind of good stuff. It's a big uh, suite of tools for specifically for um, KDP, for Amazon. But they've since uh, um, created a new uh, tool that is uh, aimed at Etsy sellers, right? So what you can do is you can take your content that you are creating for Amazon and you can actually create an Etsy shop and there, this tool is aimed at doing research on Etsy. So um, whether you just want to get started on Etsy, you could be selling anything on Etsy, uh, you can use this tool. Uh, click the link below to go check out this sales page that I'm on right now. It'll kind of give you an overview of what to expect inside the tool. And you can see that um, it's a very, very reasonably priced software. It's only $10 a month. Um, or you can sign up and save 20% and for a hundred dollars, you get an entire year of access. So you, you get two months for free. Basically you can start today. You get a three day free trial to use the tool. So you can go and just check it out, register for free. But what this tool is very, very powerful. I have used Marmalade, um, and a bunch of different other Etsy tools in the past. And this one definitely can give those other tools a run for their money, but you won't have to spend $30 or more per month. This one is just straight, one straight price. And that's what I really like about it is that they're just not, you know, you don't, it's not like, um, you know, you get a certain amount of searches, then we're going to charge you 20 bucks a month, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. So I do like the pricing structure where it's literally, it's just $10 a month. Um, and if you want to save a little bit of money, you can pay annually. Um, I recommend signing up for free, checking it out. And if you end up liking the tool, uh, go ahead and pay for one month. And then if it ends up being a part of your business and you can, and you're going to use it on a, a daily or weekly basis, then, um, it is worth your while to go ahead and just invest the $99 into the tool so you can save yourself, uh, 20 bucks. So on to now that that's out of the way, this is the sales page. Go check it out. And like I said, you can sign up for free. There's a link below. So let's jump into the tool and what it looks like. So I've put in some different uh, shops in here, but we're going to go back um, right to the front page. Um, they have a, um, a bunch of different tutorials on how to, you know, analyze different shops. And that's kind of what I was doing right there. Competition tracker. When you, when you're doing research on Etsy and you find a shop that you kind of like, and you want to maybe model, um, your shop after you can throw those on the competition tracker and then it will just track it. It will tell you when that shop opened up. A lot of times when you're on the pages, um, on Etsy and I'll show you that in a minute when we go in, um, they, it doesn't say it when you go to their shop, it, they, it's not publicly displayed when they open their shop. And it's always, I like to see what kinds of shops were able to take off, you know, within the last six months, within their first year being on Etsy, I like to see shops that have had a lot of success and a lot of sales. It's not quite as impressive when there's a shop that's been there for 10 years and it has 2000 sales, as opposed to a shop that has 400 sales in their first year. Um, I'm a little bit more interested in that first or that second mm -hmm. shop, right? So I really like the interface that Cell Samurai has. I also like that they, it's defaulted in dark mode. I actually don't know if they, if you can switch it. You can, you can go to light mode if you like. Um, and you can have it on light mode, but you know what? I actually like the ease that it is on your eyes. So I'm going to go back into the default is dark mode. I really like that. Uh, so you have, um, how to, how to analyze different shops, how to, um, use the search, how to do competition tracker. How do you, there's a Chrome extension. I'm going to show you how to use that right now. And it's great to um, do your initial research with the Chrome extension. And then you have a calendar and you have favorites. So, and then you have a, an actual uploader. I'm not going to go into uploader at all in this video because it's just going to be way too much. I'm going to try to just give a, um, I'll probably do a couple of different videos on this. I actually won't be able to go into all these different features right now. We're really going to just go and do the, the bulk and the main part of what the tool um, offers you. 
So you have your tutorials, you have your search button, you have your shops, competition, analyze your favorites and calendar. Real quickly, the calendar is pretty cool and useful. It pulls up the current month. Anything in the United States is dark blue, so Memorial Day. Um, and then uh, you have all these um, unofficial holidays. Um, say something nice day, leave the office early day, like um, official uh, National Donut Day, you know, all kinds of stuff. Father's Day down there, Juneteenth. Um, all that kind of stuff, but it gives you different options. If you're kind of running out of ideas, um, then it can be helpful for you. So let's run over to Etsy and see how this works. I'm on Etsy right now. And let's just say I'm over here and I type in something coloring. Um, so right here, if you just type in coloring, you will see that this little, um, these blue marks, markers right here, if you have ever used keywords ever, everywhere, if you're doing a blog, um, topic ideas, keyword research on Google, keywords everywhere is now a paid tool, but it gives you search volumes inside of Google. So they're doing something much like this. Now, I don't know, haven't dove in much to find out what, how they're getting their data, um, of how many searches, but they have an algorithm. Obviously it's probably not a hundred percent unless they're actually plugged into Etsy. Um, but it's going to be, you know, a, a good uh, signifier of how many searches each keyword's getting. So we're going to come down here, coloring pages, printable, uh, cause maybe we want to make some printable designs, right? And so what you would do is come over here and you would just click on 276 more. So we're going to click that and you can see it opens it up. And I have other page, uh, other searches in here. It'll actually save your searches that you've, you're currently working on, which is great. So what is happening right here is that this extension is, is kind of going to come over the top of Etsy right now, uh, kind of maximized, um, on top of, of your Etsy page. And you can see the most important things that it's doing is it's pulling in a ton of rows, a ton of data, 276 keywords related to that initial coloring pages printable. And you can see it's going to pull in all the search volume, um, the highest search volume to lowest. And then the competition right here in the amount of words. So the long tail keyword is, you know, right there. Um, the more words, the longer tail it is, but then competition. Now this right here is, is gold in itself getting a search volume next to a competition score for an Etsy re for Etsy research is huge. I just like that a simple simplicity design of this tool. So what you can do up here under the search volume, let's say we're going to, we want to look at things that are, um, have at least, um, 40 search volume. And then the competition, I don't want to look at anything that has more than 2000. So then now we're going to go ahead and push the filter button. And it's going to go out there and it's going to filter our work down to these 28 items right here. They all have over um, 40 search volume per month and they all have less than 2000. Look at that. The, the, just awesome. So now we're going to scroll down here and just give you an idea of what you can kind of look at here. So we can come down here and there's different ones, pride coloring pages, Psalm coloring page. The, the, the competition's very low on these. So if you do your optimization in, in SEO, you stand a chance to rank in the, probably the top 10 for these. So if we come over here, let's just say for, for fun, jumbo coloring pages printable. So what you can do is you can right click on that and open it up mm -hmm. into a new tab. So you come over here, you're in a new tab and you can see that that 183 results with ads will come, come back here. And look, at it says 183. So it's very accurate. I like that. I've actually seen other tools where there's a discrepancy of what it's actually bringing back right here versus what you're looking at. So I like that it is very low competition. And then you can go over here and look at what is being shown. Now, one thing, for example, is um, there is like the one that's rating, like these are ads over here. Um, but I really want to look at you know, what, what constitutes a jumbo page? Now, some might say a large print starts about eight and a half by 11, but I think you have to kind of put your mind in the shopper. They're going to type in jumbo coloring pages. They probably want a poster. They probably want to take this to, um, you know, Costco or office Depot and get it printed on large poster paper. So then they can actually like this right here is a perfect, um, mock-up right here. This is a perfect mock-up for what the people are actually looking for when they're looking for a poster. So we'll click on this one 
And you can see that, that, you know, it is actually something that would go on a wall and you could get a canvas and to put that on and they can actually paint it or draw or whatever. Right. So, and they even give the dimensions right here. Right. So I would say 18 by 24. So you can go into Canva and make an 18 by 24 inch, um, size. And then, you know, do a PDF print of that or whatever and, or a high quality PNG. And because the pixels are so high, you'd be able to actually print that in good quality. And look, this stuff is selling. People like this stuff. Um, and so look at how, what you can do on Etsy. And, uh, the competition is very low for this, right? It's sure it's not getting a ton of searches, but it is selling. You know, here's a shop that's selling. So that is one way you can use the tool. So then now let's say we have um, this shop right here that we're like interested in. We think that they're doing a, like they have over 3000 sales, five star modern banner and shop. So they're making banners, which is really cool. You can go check it out. And a lot of times when you search down here, so they have 339 items. Um, you have to kind of go in here and scroll and check everything out before you can get more information. And right here is where you usually can see when the shop was, um, has been around since. Now the shop policies were updated in 2017. So we know that the shop's been around for four or five years, but it doesn't actually tell us when it got started. So another cool thing about the tool is we can come over here and grab modern banner shop. We can copy that. We can come into the software and go over to competition tracker. And then up here with shops, we can actually put the shop name in right here. Just paste that shop name in here, push add shop. And now look, it's going to go and bring that banner shop is right here. They have actually have 3,171 uh, sales. The shop is live. They have 339 listings, uh, 217 likes, and it was in fact created uh, four years ago. So that's how you use the competition analyzer. Now you could come in here and go into the search bar right here, and you could come in over here. Uh, you could put in a keyword right here and just say um, coloring page pages and push search. And then it will go out there and it will start doing some analyzation. And with the top ranked uh, results on Etsy, it's actually going to pull the top tags of what's being used. So right here, if you type in coloring pages on Etsy, uh, 48 of the first page results um, have coloring page in them, then coloring pages, coloring book, a digital download, printable. So it gives you all these um, top tags and the tags just keep going and going and going. Right. Um, and then you can get suggestions, some more different suggestions. Why W theme coloring page, um, whatever that is, it gets a massive amount of search volume. So it's going to give you some cool uh, research suggestions. And if you like something, you can just push the, um, heart right here and existing um, category. And so you can actually create a new category and I'm just going to say, um, coloring page trend. We're going to put just trending something like that. Cause it has a lot of search volume and I don't really know what it is. So, so then you have that, um, PLR coloring pages. So if you actually want to give PLR, um, rights out to people, then that one has a lot of search volume as well. So let's go ahead and click that as well. And we can just go ahead and create new category. Nope. Existing category up here. And we'll just go with that as well. Push. Okay. All right. So that is cool. Um, it also gives you the long tails, the search volume at 1000 and the competition. So there's a lot of competition, um, for just the search term coloring pages, which would be, which is understandable, right? So then it's going to give you the top listing and the prices for what's, what's ranking for those, um, the, the views that these are getting. Um, I'm not sure if that's views over the last month for all the different things that that's ranking for. Um, the different amount of photos that are being used, the likes on the product, um, average views, likes, it gives you just a lot of research. It's crazy. So then you have some outliers here, right? So you have like a, this one, um, for $20, then you have, uh, $4 here and you can look at the different pricing, but it looks like for the most part, you're getting a pricing. You can actually go like that and it's going to give you a look at what you search inside here. It's looking like the main pro, you know, between a dollar and three fifty is where you probably would want your pricing. Look at 32 products are listed at a dollar. 
um, 17 listings are listed at uh, $2 or less. So it gives you some really good um, data right here. And you can actually come in here and do the shipping if you actually had something that you were shipping a physical coloring book or a physical product for that matter there's data right here as well so um, really really great information that you can get um, in here um, there's a lot more that, to go into i will probably do more videos on this but um, as things are um, getting going with uh, you know amazon kdp and all that i'd like i'm taking my business to another level and i'm going to really be focusing on etsy um, over the next year and so you'll probably see me do a lot more tutorials and um, niche research and all that kind of stuff for selling printables on Etsy so I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to check out sell samurai and you're interested in selling printables on Etsy go ahead and click the link below and you can sign up for a three-day free trial to sell samurai and then if you decide that the tool is right for you then go ahead and pick it up it's only ten dollars per month I'll see you in my next video